This was a man accursed, fierce, mightily cruel and savage, pestilent, death-dealing, uncouth, warmonger general, traitor, fermenter of evil, and double-dyed dissimulator. So goes the description of the Viking raider Jarl Heston, who set out with Bjorn Ironside in 859 to raid the riches of the Mediterranean. History tells us that Heston disappeared from records around 896. However, we know of a different tale, of an end more befitting the great Jarl. One of adventure, riches, and Vikings. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ultra, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Today, we're going to be taking on a new adventure and a new achievement run. Um, this is actually a pretty short one, but we can turn this into a longer playthrough for sure at the end of it. It's going to be called Far From Home. Uh, we need to start off as a Northman and make our way down into the far, far Indian Ocean, which is quite the challenge. Um, but actually, the game makes it quite easy for us with a little bit of a cheese called Jarl Heston. Now, Jarl Heston is a Northman who settles here on the coast of France, and he starts off with 3,000 additional specialized troops that the game has given him. Um, and with those 3,000 troops, we will make short work of any uh, small counties on our way that we need to do to go on with our adventure. Now, it's kind of hard to explain by looking at this map here. I, need, I kind of need to go into it what our plan is going to be. Um, but we're going to make sure Iron Man is enabled. And we are going to select Jarl Heston. Here it is here. So you can kind of read through Jarl Heston's RP here. Uh, Rich man, after leading a lucrative raid through the Mediterranean, together with Bjorn Ironside, Heston has settled in Brittany. The Franks have coffers ready for the picking. And a mighty Viking warrior makes a great ally in times of political turmoil. That's all fine and well, but we will not be doing this. We will be leaving the shores of France and moving on down into the Indian Ocean. Okay, so let's hit start game and get into it. Okay, so here we are, uh, Jarl Heston of Montague. Now, it shows 300 men here, but it's actually, um, as you can see, it's 3,700 men because we have our specialized troops. Uh, here it is here, the host. So 1,500 of uh, these guys, and 1,500 of these guys. Um, and this is because we were a Viking settler, so we have these special Vikings that have settled with us in Montague, but we will be taking these all with us um, on our journey. So here's the plan. So if you're looking for the 30-second uh, guide to how to do this achievement, you, you start off as this guy here. And we make our way down. Now, you got to hopscotch your way down there. You can't make it all the way to India. It's just a little bit too far to get into the Indian Ocean. Um, you can't declare war on targets that are too far away. So we're going to have to stop uh, different little places here. So we're going to go first here. So a lot of people do Sardinia. This is a, an option. Or you can also go to Napoli. You don't need to start taking over kingdoms. You don't need to create duchies. You don't need to do any of that stuff. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. You just got to grab whatever's there and just keep going. So something where Napoli is good. It's all you need. It's a county in the area. From here, you can hopscotch down to Crete. And from here, you start making your way down into the Red Sea area, picking one of these counties in here. And from here, your final destination will be this island right here called um, Socotra, this castle right here. So once you take over this island here, you are technically within the Indian Ocean, and the achievement shall be yours once you make this your capital. That's all that's really involved in doing this. Um, so I think it's very doable, but that's how, if you wanted the 30 second version, that's how you're gonna do it. But we're gonna do it a little bit longer, a little bit of an RP version here. So we're gonna start off as Heston of Montague and let's get into his character. So let's have a look at him. So he is August, wow, uh, adventurer, Viking raider, Marshall plus two prowess three. Okay, great, quick, which is great. Uh, he does have a child already. Good. Does the child have any? Oh, the child is quick as well and rowdy. Yeah, he's going to have a great, strong, strong uh, family here. Greedy, ambitious, and lustful. Brilliant strategist, only defender. Like, this is like, they've only, almost made this too easy, right? Uh, let's go with lifestyle. And we're going to stick with our strength, which is martial. So it's rolled us overseer. Uh, I, well, don't we have, what's August under? It's under diplomacy? Yeah, so it's given us the August trait. So we must have the, uh, the full... Um, Diplomacy trait done here, but again, this is all randomized roles here. Uh, so we're gonna pick, I think, 20. What's this prowess at? Uh, I hate when it does this. Let's go back and have a look. 17 prowess. Wow, it's rolled high prowess for us. So prowess is really good. So I was thinking about maybe doing chivalry, but prowess is already really high. Uh, martial control growth that might be important because we're island hopping, so having like authority might be actually the better 
of the two. We actually have Serve of the Crown, which is Natural Dread, plus Dread Gleam, plus 20%. Um, so we do have some Dread. Strategy, just an extra plus three. It's going to pop us to 30. Um, that might be good. <laughs> Having 30 Marshall might be good, too. Uh, waging War and Leading Armies. Like we'll never lose a battle at 30. Um, but we only need uh, plus 29. You know what? We're just going to do the strategy focus. We're just going to go to 30 to make ourselves like a truly invincible general. So we're going to do that. 31. There we go. So perfect. Okay. Now we're not going to waste time. Actually, what we might do is just have a look here. Do we want to bring in like um, any more specialized troops? Let's look at where we're going to go first. So first we're going to go, I think it's probably just going to end up being Naples. Uh, so he's got, let's see here, armored footmen and bowmen. Okay. And if we, from there, it'll be like somewhere in Crete. And we kind of adjust this as we go, just pikemen. Mm -hmm. So we might have to adjust our special troops as we go down. I don't think it's going to be that necessary. And something down here, like for example, if we were to grab this place, it's going to be camel riders. Or this guy's got... Uh, Bowman Pikeman, yeah, so it's going to be probably the biggest challenge is, is this step here. Once we have this done, it's it's over. This is nothing. As long as we continue going on this, like, you know, with a fairly decent pace. Um, okay, but let's go first things first. We're going to go um, go to Heston, okay? We're going to pick our target. I think it's probably going to be Naples, like I said. We're going to go to Declare War. And from here, you can see this Invade Kingdom, Conquer Duchy, Varangian Adventure against Napoli. So this is a special type of war where the attacker t intends to move the realm of the war target wholesale. If they win, they will immediately annex the appropriate counties and move their capital there. Their old vassals will go independent, and their old counties will be given to upstart local warlords. Varangian Adventures are only available to Duke and Count tier rulers, becoming progressively more expensive with each successful adventure. The Casas Ballet is never available after Tribal Era, and cannot be used against other cultures that can adventure or against neighboring rulers. North Germanic's launching their first ranking adventure received up to 2,000 bonus special soldiers, the amount going up with every same faith, same culture county they completely control within mainland Scandinavia. So, um, again, you can do Sardinia. Naples is fine. We'll do that, and we'll jump on Crete, and from there we're going to keep going down. So let's do the first things first. We're going to do ranking adventure against Napoli, uh, Duchy of Capua, it's, um, what's the cost here? A thousand. Yeah, they do get pricey. Oof. And we're going to go declare war. We're going to do Varangian Adventure. Declare war. And we are going to raise all here. All right, let's take to sea and find shortest route. Uh, I wonder if it's actually cheaper to march. Uh, probably not. There we go. That's going to be fine. We're going to get a lot of... Uh, prestige by winning these wars so don't stress too much about the cost and plus we're earning a lot uh each month anyways all right but let's uh speed up the game a bit and we'll see you on the other side all right here we are off the shore of naples let's let's get into it uh beach landing we're not going to waste any time we're going to jump right in grab this real quick and our specialized troops will make short work of them um, we do have some heavy footmen, but uh, not enough. And we're going to siege this out. It's going to take us a measly nine months. And then uh, this county will be ours. And we have now moved from France into Italy. Okay, there's not too much action on this playthrough uh, in, in the start. It's good. It's just grabbing one county. You don't need to take any duchies. You don't need to take any kingdoms. It's just grabbing counties on the way until we make our way down here to the Indian Ocean. That's just kind of the uh, short and long of it. So there's no great uh, battles just yet gonna happen. But again, once we get down here, we can, we can you know, RP this as like a crazy Viking pirate off the island of Sakotra here and just start like grabbing counties and territories. Um, insulted me, okay, it's okay, I'm long gone. Um, grabbing different, yeah, counties and stuff and making a crazy Viking kingdom down here and blocking the straits. Who knows, maybe we'll even go after India. For, we'll see, we'll kind of see what happens. Um, you don't need to stop the playthrough once you get your little achievement, because again, this is not a terribly long achievement. Um, looks like they threw themselves at my at my shield wall and failed. Um, Ransom, oh, I actually got the guy. Oh, Ragnar, it's gonna be me. Uh, not endorsed. Okay, we're gonna, actually, we are gonna do the small stuff. You don't need to, but we're gonna do, whoa, she really doesn't like me. What's your problem? Uh, unreformed, impatient, short reign adventure. What's my religion? Norse. 
But it says unreformed. I'm not sure. We'll just try and sway and see how that goes. Uh, cis ruler. Um, let's for now. Let's do chivalry. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, there it is. There, dismiss, and we are uh, enforce demands. So be it. Disband. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now let's go back. You're now Marty Yarl. Okay, what's back here? You lost uh, control. Yeah, so we lose control of these titles here. That's fine. That's known to happen. Uh, let's start looking at the next one. We are still good to go. What have we got left? Uh, 3184. We might bring in other specialized troops. We can definitely f kind of afford it. Oh, raise runestone. Um, gain, gain, cost 50. Yeah, we're going to raise runestone. Uh, perhaps my vanquished foe. Yes. Neapoli would be a good place. Now, this is only going to last while we control Napoli. Once we lose control of Napoli, we lose control of that runestone, as far as I understand. Uh, moving up in the world, lovely. Now, so yeah, we're going to go here to the next one. I think this is the next one to go for. Yeah, Varangian Adventure. Oh, we're going to have to build up 20 more... Uh, prestige. Now, we can't just go for them and not have to use a Varankian, but we're not going to get, uh, move the, move the, you know, hopscotch the capital. I mean, we don't need to do it that way, I don't think. Let's just conquer county. I mean, it's all you need to do is conquer. I just need to get here. I just need a holding spot, holding pattern where I can jump from one to the next, to the next. I don't need to do the Varangian one here. Uh, and it's only 150s. So, I mean, just to get the whole kingdom from here, at least into the Mediterranean, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I can't do it again. It's going to cost me 2,000. Um, what do they have here, anyways? Pikemen. They have pikemen. What counters pikemen? I think it's Huskarls. Spearmen, yeah. Um, I can throw a Huskarls on there. Uh, to the rattling. Marriage is... Consanguineous in nature is informed. What? Our marriage will not be turned by an obvious lie. Your divorce. Petty queen of North Capua. What? What is wrong with this lady? Hala. Our marriage will not be torn apart by an obvious lie. Oh my gosh. I can't spend this prestige. Uh, give her a weak hook, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really concerned about this just yet. I'm just trying to build up uh, um, into 2000. I might just jump from here. Uh, I might just grab the county. And then once we get from here to here, I might use the 2000 to grab this thing. We'll see. Let's just build, I'm just building up my troops now. Uh, once the troops are kind of built up again, it'll be more than enough. Um, 300 Bondi, which are anti-archers. Okay. Preaching unorthodox doctrine. Who is this person? Can I just get rid of her? Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, goodbye. Like, <laughs> deal with this. Like, nonsense. Can't, chancellor. Uh, yeah, my chancellors are pretty crappy. I'm just going to sign this guy for now. He's pretty terrible. But, again, it's kind of things that I'm going to uh, not endorse. Okay, so... Let's endorse this guy. I don't know what the heck that person was doing, but I didn't like the way it was. So we're going to hit Sway. There we go. There we go. That's the benefit of having, like, an Astratu uh, uh, clergy. You can just change him yourself. You don't have to wait for the Pope to decide it for you. So, uh, I mean, I'm just deciding what I want to do. I think just having it... Uh, you know, one more. Okay, great. Can I just do uh, Conquer Duchy? It's a lot less than 2,000. We're just going to do Conquer Duchy. That's it. And we're going to do... Uh, is there no flag here? Yes, there's a flag there. And we're going to do raise all here. And we're going to go. Now, we're still going to have Naples. Um, but we're going to do the um, the old... Once we save up enough... What's it called? Uh, prestige again to get to 2,000. We're just going to use the 2,000 to jump into here. And then from here, we can just conquer this one here. We might just move the whole capital down here. And get rid of all these things. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, let's just get to uh, Crete. Yeah, and these guys are just on their own. This hopefully will get us a little bit more prestige. Let's land and start conquering. Okay, right, so we're gonna have to conquer both these castles here. Um, so it's better to do one and and kind of not let him double back on us. Uh, seven months left, which is not terrible. Um, yeah, it would be beneficial, I think, to have some kind of. Siege equipment, but we don't have nothing unlocked. And we gotta stay tribal, so we can't be researching. I don't know. I don't wanna research too much at all. 
And you can't waste too much time for sure. You should sense it. So yeah, well. That's not the end of the world. Again, these are all going to be little quick, easy battles. And again, yeah, it's probably... I might just even be able to grab this guy. Just grab this guy right here. It's all you need. All you need is the one. And from here, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll grab this one. And from here, you know what? Maybe I'll use the Varangian onto this one. From here, save up. And that way I'll move everything to the final destination type thing. That could be the plan. We'll see how it goes. And how we are with uh, Prestige, if we have enough. Okay, here we go. Half the duchy is conquered. Let's go to the next one. We're going to beat them in this battle. And, oh, he's swayed now. Good. And perfect. He likes me. I could probably just cancel this then. Good. Well, that's, again, that's the benefit of having, you know, a religion where you can change your own clergy there. Okay, let's just beat these guys in battle real quick. They do have some pikemen. Uh, but my Varangi, no, my, is it the Varangians? The Huskarals should be con countering them. Good. Victory done. Oh, and we're done. Good. Uh, enforce demands. So be it. Disband all. Good. And there you go. Just like that. We're, we're moving along. We're moving along. Now, let's just see. Are we close? We should be close enough. We should be close enough. Not too far away to interact with. How about this guy here? Yeah, just far. Just, yeah, this guy's just too far. Just too far by one county. So we're going to grab this guy here. And again, this is going to be 2,000. We don't need to do this. We can just kind of do declare war. We can kind of just do... We don't have to do this. I'm telling you, all you need is the county. Conquer county. I just want to make sure that's not too far. I think that's going to be close enough. Uh, new Marshall Perk. Good. Um, mercenary, no. Control territory, defender advantage. No. Prowess, no. Uh, oh, BJ. We're going to hit BJ. And, oh, is that going to help? <laughs> is that going to help my my uh, Varangian cost? Oh, it does. It does. It drops it by half. It drops it by half. It's only 1,000 now. It's only 1,000. So I could... Oh, is this... Oh, how about this one? Is this not... Is this... A, oh, it's too, too far away. Just too far. Even with Crete, it's too far away. Okay. Okay. Norris Capua. Okay. What we're going to do... <laughs> hang on a second. First of all, I'm going to uh, move the capital here. Okay. Let's move the capital. We're moving down. Um, now that it's only 1,000, but even though it's only 1,000, the next one after that's going to be 2,000 again. So I think I might just do... Just grab the county here. I think that should be close enough. I think I just need the county, and that should be enough. And I'll grab the Varangian title on this one. Uh, how's my troops looking like? Uh, let them rebuild up for a second to 3,500. What do they have? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, but they do have... What troops do they have? Lightfoot, my bowman, pikeman? Ah, I should be okay. I should be okay. Uh, let's just let them build up again for a second, for a second. And then we're going to go... I'm going to grab... Content. Okay, fine. Let's just actually, what, what county do I want to grab? Uh, so we conquer county. Uh, yeah, which one? Ooh, yes, this one. See how it's funny I can I can interact with these guys and conquer the most southern one. I'm going to grab this one here, the Bazin one, down here. Bazin, because it's going to be even closer, just to make sure there's no issues here. I'm going to grab this one right here, and um, the question is, I don't think I can um, sail my way there. I'm going to have to sail here, march across this, sail down. Oh, wow, what a mission it's going to be. Okay, well, it's doable. I don't, I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to say you can't sail around Africa, but that's the plan here. I'm going to have to march across. There's no, there's no, you know, Suez Canal here. You have to actually cross yourself. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just waiting just for the men to speed up a bit. Let's have a look at this. Take Concubine. Uh, short reign. French, compassionate, greedy. Um, sure. Take Concubine. A few champions. Ooh, I need more champions. Uh, how much is it going to cost me to bring in some champions? Let's have a look. Pa pause game. Send the Herald 150. Eh. Hmm. How much am I short by? I'm short by a significant amount. Okay, I actually kind of want to do do want to do this. Okay, invite champions. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's bring some guys in here. Have the realm base local, personal deity, pilgrimage. Nope, we're good on all this. Consecrate bloodlines. No, we're fine. We're fine. So just check out my court here. Do I have anybody who's got particularly high intellect? This guy does. I mean, he's okay. Where is he here? This guy here? My champion. He's also going to be... I'm going to make him my uh, physician. Uh, hang on. Champion has arrived. 
He's going to be a 19. Okay, Fuji Quartz. Good. Where is he? Force. I'll make sure. Okay, he's... I got a decent size 19 there. Let's see who else comes. Again, as I'm just, I'm just rebuilding my troops up a little bit as we go until we're ready to actually finish. All right, we are going to go for the next one here. We're going to go to this guy here. We're going to hit Declare War. We're going to hit Conquer County. It's going to be Bazin at the south there. We are going to declare... Yeah, declare... Um, where is our muster point? Okay, raise all here. We're gonna raise all the guys here. Um, and good, let's go. We are gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to go here. We're gonna have to land in the Sinai, march across to the Red Sea. I don't think the, yeah, I don't know if you can even go down the rivers. I think you can go down the rivers, but there's no way to get out to the Red Sea. I need to get to the Red Sea. So, yeah, this is telling me this is the best way to do it. Game is deciding, so let's just keep going. Uh, let's just speed up a bit and keep our longboats going. Okay, we did have to land, uh, but it's okay. All right, lifestyle perk, we're going to do uh, hit and run. Yeah, we do have a lot of special troops, so we're going to be uh, taking full advantage of them and popping up the bonuses. Okay, let's go. And we're going to land right here in Bazin, which is where we have to siege to um, conquer this county. And once we get that, oh, there they are. Oh, they're going to run. Oh, we caught them. And yes, even with our, our debuff, just landed debuff, we should be fine to conquer these guys. And yeah, our guys are countering them quite well. Victory, done. Let's siege this out and get the war score ticking as fast as possible. Again, once we get this, um, we should have the thousand we need to do our Varangian ex expedition into the uh, Bala Emirate, this county right here. And then from there, that's gonna be the achievement, theoretically, and we can just continue on with the playthrough. All right, so this is going to take four months. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to march around a bit and conquer a bit more. It's not going to be enough, these these 20 points here. Um, well, the war score is going to tick, so it should be okay, but... Okay, we got the siege one here, and yeah, the war score is going to start to go up, but we're going to have to go take a few more... Yeah, we're really above our supply limit here. I don't want to start melting away guys for nothing. We're just gonna, you know what? We're just gonna try and fight them. That might be the best thing. Well, if I can catch them before they get to sea, that'd be even better. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I think we might just get them. We might just get them. Oh, we got them. Good. Maybe if you can grab, like, the Sheik here. Actually, we're just gonna grab the capital next, since it's right here. Rip the head off. Oh my god. It became a berserker. Lordy. Okay, 63%. Okay, let's just go grab this. Uh, crap. They're gonna retreat. They might take this back. They're going to retreat back. How long is this going to take? Seven months. We're going to see what they're... Yeah, they're going to, I bet you they're going to go retreat back into the desert and come right back here. All right, four months left. Yeah, they haven't come back yet. They're wandering down here somewhere. They're in the fog of war here, but they're in this area here, somewhere down here. Uh, but, yeah, but once we get this capital... Oh, there they are. See, I knew they were going to come back, and I knew they were going to go right for this. But this is going to be three months. Um, I'm presuming this is going to be at least six. No, six to seven. What's this going to be? Four. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll beat them in terms of siege racing. Uh, and actually, if I can grab the Sheik right now, it'll end the war. So it's, it's still worth it to, to siege us out. Hang on a sec. Let's just see what we got here. 25 days left. And this is still three months. And I'm going to beeline march for it. Two, one. Oh, and see, I knew it was worth it. It was worth the stay, and we're going to go like this. We're going to hit enforce demands. So be it. Disband all. Great. Uh, let's go to our military flags. We're going to add a new flag here, and we're not going to waste any time, really. I think we're probably pretty much good to go. Declare war. Varangian conquering, and there it is. A thousand. This should be the end of it. Um, they've got nothing, right? They've got 400 men. So we're, so we're going to do it right now. Uh, actually, you know what? We need to wait. Our men might be on cooldown for like a couple months. 
because um, we just lowered them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait just a month over domain limit. I know, but once we do the ranking thing, we're going to lose all these. Uh, you know what? I'll just give this away for now. In the meantime, uh, let's give it to Spy Master and Champion. Sure. Grand title. Give them Naples here. Spy Master and Chancellor. Wow, they're really terrible options here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pregnant. Great. So let's just... Uh, my son. Beautiful. Uh, now what actually is my succession, just so I know? Uh, Confederate Partition. Yeesh. Well, that's tribal for you. Okay, but that's it. this is it. I think we're probably more or less okay. We've got 3283. I mean, we have more than enough guys. I just want to make sure we don't have a crazy... Uh, we don't have a crazy cooldown. Sure. Okay, we're going to hit Declare War. And we're going to hit Varangian Adventure against this island here. We're going to hit pause for one second. We're going to raise all here. And once we've ranked and adventure it, it'll move our capital. It should move everything. Yeah, we are on cooldown. Oh, I had a feeling. How long is this going to take? 30 days. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. It's what it is. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. They're not going to have any extra troops that we can't deal with as is. It's just a matter of waiting in game for it to, you know, for the guys to pop up. Okay, let's go this way. All right, here we go at the shore. Let's land. There's only one castle here, I think. Yeah, it's only one castle here. This is just another city. This is going to be your capital. I mean, it's it's not great. It's only got two territories on it, so it's actually not even the best capital. Uh, once I create, I guess, the kingdom of... Yemenite Kingdom here. The Viking Yemenite Kingdom, that might be a bit better. I mean, Abbasids are kind of... I might actually... I don't know. What's this one here? What's this kingdom here? Dashi Hafun, Kingdom of Juran. Oh, down here. Adal. And this is part of Yemen. The problem with Yemen is I'm kind of near the Abbasids, which is kind of like, eh, you know? Not great. Especially since the Byzantines never actually... Uh, fight against them, actually. <laughs> they never push back. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Actually, every yeah, every playthrough I've seen is like more or less the Abbasids just kind of crumble and like some other tribe takes over. It's They've never really pushed in like, you know, like the Turks here. We'll see. We'll see what happens in this one. But in the meantime, four months left and this should be the achievement at the end of these four months. Uh, can't dispute. Let's talk about unity. Stronger stand together, and we got a new martial perk. We're going to do, um, um, hmm, control territory advent, defender advantage. It might be good to have if the Abbasids do eventually kick off when we have to fight in our own lands. We'll do a man's home. I think that's fine. It's fine. I'm not too again. I'm not overly concerned about these right now. Keen eye, greedy. Well, thank you. Lovely. Okay. Um. Oh, they're trying to fight back. I don't think they're going to get anywhere, though, against our shield wall. Nope. Nothing doing. Victory. Okay, how much left here? Four, three, two, one. And that is it. Now, let's see what happens here. Did we get it? Enforce demands. So be it. New air. Uh, okay. You lost control. Lost control. That's fine. We knew that was going to happen, but this should be it. Um... Chancellor. Ooh, he's actually good. And Spymaster, he'll do. Oh. Mm. Uh, sure. We'll put to court. And it's not. Okay. Now, this should be it. Spend all. This should be it. And there it is. Far from home. There is the achievement. Success. So here we are. Heston has made his way from, uh, just under Brittany. Wow, it looks like they were, ooh, Montague here, and then to Naples, then to Crete, which are all nice Viking rulers, then to this county down here, which has now gone back to this guy. Interesting. Who are these guys? Oh, they're all independent warlords here. Yeah, that's what happens. You kind of just abandon them. And then now, we made our way back, and this is now our, our home territory here. And from here, we can... Um, do other things. We can just keep conquering Yemen, which is I probably will be doing. That's kind of like the game plan to go up to these ones here. 
Um, you can go south into Africa, or you can make the long stretch across and start taking on India. I mean, you guys, the, the world is your oyster here at this point, but that's how you quickly and easily get the um, Far From Home achievement, which I was glad I was able to show you guys. And I think that I'm going to be continuing this playthrough. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I think, like I said, I want to make like a Viking pirate type kingdom here and control the straits and um, control all this stuff here. I think that'd be really, really fun. So I think that is going to be the plan going forward. But for those who just wanted to see the achievement, that is the end of the achievement there. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.